Greetings and welcome, venturers, to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Alright, so I've been digging back through my memories, and I've actually realized that I completely misremember what happened. What, what is where exactly? So I was hoping to find a bag of holding, but it's not here, unfortunately. Would have been nice, there was one. But the only bag of holding that I can think of where we can find one uh, would involve doing a side quest that I'm, I'm not particularly interested in doing, because it de requires dealing with vampires. And, uh, I don't like vampires at the best of times in this game. But it doesn't matter. At least part of the way we're there. Getting the potion case definitely helps in clearing up some space. So, yes. we will just leave. Uh, now, this sword. Let me just check for a moment. Where did I spec myself again? Yeah. So. This would probably is better served by me. I mean, obviously I prefer the crossbow, but having the sword definitely would be very nice. Fire and lightning. And this long sword will... I don't know where to put it exactly. Uh, I mean, I don't think... Jan Jansen at your service. I don't think you'll spec with a sword. Yeah, just scimitar. I've found a good scimitar for you yet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dream of refusing. In any case, let us leave. I do sincerely hope that I didn't break any oh, yes. side quests over here, but right, first rest. Alright, let us leave. We'll come back to watch us keep it later when we are at a slightly higher level, at which point I feel much more comfortable being around here. What is it now? Also, uh let's heal please. Right, so we have two quests ahead of us, a side quest that my companions actually want to do, which is fine. That was bound to happen at some point, so I'd rather deal with them now before I head off to the Umar Hills and the Windspear Hills. Going to the slums first. Squire Anaman, a word if you please. Oh, of course. How may I be of assistance? I am Sir Ryan Troll, a paladin of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. In Torm's name, I greet thee. I greet thee also. Time has come. Indeed it has. In the name of the Prelate, the Council requests you return to the High Hall. I shall return and stand in Helm's light to be judged for my deeds and strength of arms. So shall it be. In Torm's name I bless thee, Anaman. And also thee. I shall see thee at the High Hall, Anaman. Good luck. My thanks, Uthral. I look forward to our next meeting. Right, so... All the side quests and character side quests are now coming together. We'll see how this will go. Alright, since we are now in this place, and I forgot to sell stuff. I was going to sell stuff to uh, Sister Galina. Oh well, since we are here, let's just go and talk to Bernard here. Because despite the fact that I have managed to clear up some inventory, may have to get rid of some stuff. Um, right, so let's just get rid of any... All stuff that 
not worth for that much. It's just taking up space. It doesn't need to be there. Oh, that is not exactly what I wanted to do. I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. Alright. Alright, we don't need this light crossbow anymore. And this chainmail, this block. I mean, there's not a copy uh, in there. Lock can go back to Jahira, as well as the acorns. Right, we have more than enough. We can get rid of this. I think that's most of the stuff I don't need. We've done the ritual, we shouldn't need this anymore, but I should have dropped them over there. I'll drop them here. Uh, this book can only be used by someone with the right intelligence. Jan, I would like you to uh, keep this, but you're overweight. Right then, I'll keep it. Now. I've got way too much stuff. Vigil stone. It's, um, you can hold on to this. I need to sort of buy my uh, stronghold to get rid of some stuff that I don't want to sell, but also don't really want to keep on my person. As I'm not entirely sure yet where I want to go with some characters. Gather your party before venturing forth. But at least we are rid of some stuff. So, that'll do. Let's go to the Janssen house, which is uh, here so. Uh, commoner, peasant, peasant, cat. Hey, yeah. We once, I'm home. Mommy, Jan's back. Jan, did you bring me some candy? Calmly, little ones. I brought you each a flasher. I want to use it right now. Where's the cat? My cat, stupid. I get to flash him. Those are the twins, of course. The girl is Tats, the boy is Tot. They're my youngest cousin, Glandic's children. Where is this Glandic? He's most likely working in the mines. My mother watches his children when he's away. They're actually quite impoverished since his wife died. These tales almost are best kept for another time. Follow me. I must speak with my mother. Jan not willing to, willing to put up a long-winded story? He must be really serious about this. A pleasant day, yes? It's good to see you, Jan. You don't stop to see your old mother anymore. I have to send your no-good cousin out to find you. I'm sorry, Ma. The turn of trade is demanding mistress. Not so demanding as your own mother, boy. You'll be in trouble, I suppose. Of course not, Ma. I've been good. Why, look at the fine bunch of people I'm travelling with. Yeah, we only kill people, in, innocent people in cold blood and all that. <laughs> if you say so. What's going on, Ma? Bilo made it quite, sound quite urgent. This has been staying with us for a while. A daughter too. We just thought that you might want to know. She does seem to need your help. With her parents passed on long. Is she alright? Did he... Did he hurt her? This has not hurt. It's the little girl. I gave them your old room. The girl is sick, and Lissa is with her. Why don't you go and talk to her? She's been waiting for you. Okay, Ma. I'll head upstairs immediately. Leon, please come with me. Alright, so we're going with the whole you party. Seen Griffins about, have you? Oh, Jan, I've missed you. I wish I'd known you were coming today. I would have prepared a meal for you and your companions. I'm an awful mess. You look fine, Liz. You look beautiful. I missed you, Jan. You disappeared for, for, a long, for a long time after the wedding. When you returned, I hardly saw you at all. You should have come to visit me, Jan. I couldn't, Liz. I mean, I didn't want to intrude on you and Veilag. 
wasn't my place to. I'm sorry, Jan. I've been terrible to you. Everything has come crashing down on me. Please forgive me, Jan. But she seems to be trying a little bit too hard, perhaps, to get his sympathies. You don't have to apologize, Liz. I would do anything to make you happy. Tell me what happened. What's wrong with your daughter? She's hurt, Jan. I don't know what's wrong with her. She just lies in bed, staring at the wall. Don't even eat. Please, heal, Jan. She's just a little girl. When did this start? About a few months ago, before it ended with Velak. He was always a cruel father and a hard Angela. He beat her if she did anything he didn't like. Eh, there'd be many of things I would do gladly. How many children be not one of them? Her man be a cur and not worthy of the spittle on me put. How did this happen at how did this happen after that bastard beat her? I don't know, Jan. Can you help her? She isn't physically harmless. Her mind has been injured. My magic can do nothing for this sort of thing. Have you spoken to Uncle Gerhard? Yes, but he told me that you could help. Excuse me, Liz. Jan, could you go to the basement and speak to my Uncle Gerhard? Maybe he can find out what, is, what he knows about this illness. He's a bigger center, but he knows more than he lets on. Guess we have ten days before Jella will die. <laughs> Alright, that's a quick assessment. He's in the basement, you say? Yes, I'll go and discover what he knows. Thank you. I'll stay with Lisa. I have to. Hard to explain. I think I understand. I'll be back when I find your uncle. Right, so... Of course! I wouldn't dream of refusing. Do this. Even gonna look into this house and what treasures there might be. I mean, might be treasures. Especially since I do not currently have Just someone who can look want. for traps. Ooh, nice little garden he has here. Probably turnips. I just came here to find some turnips. I swear. Who in the blazes are you? Small noses, rancid smell. Hmm. Be gibblings. <laughs> this would be fun, but no. We are friends of your nephew Jan. We're here to discover what you know of Jela's illness. Jan, eh? He thinks I'd recognize my own nephew. Hmm. Do you want to play into his delusions? No, no, I'm not Jan. I'm the leader of his party. That boy's full of questions. True, true, true. Are you hungry? He thinks I got some sausages under my bed. I'm fine, really. Do you have any idea what might be causing the little girl's illness? You've come up with a girl, eh? Yes. Do you know anything about her illness? It's the heart of the mind. Only one rich in such powers can heal her. What are you talking about? Without focus, she shall never pass. To heal Jealous Mind, you must... Your own must be hell. Try once again. Who in the blaze are you? All those are all right. Uh, all right. Let's try that again. And then we'll try for the funny answers. Where can I find such a person? The hidden is the one you seek. Go to Yusuf at the estate in the government district. She shall lead you to the hidden. Where's that sauce? Where the life of a child not at stake, I would say leave these mad gnomes to their own devices and forbid them from ever reproducing again. Must gather your party before venturing forth. Just as I thought. I see from the look on your face that you've talked to Uncle Gerhard. <laughs> I should have better explained the situation. Gerhard is a well-known and respected physician and scholar. He had risen above the poverty that plagues his family, so as you've seen, he's no longer the same. 
About a decade ago, my uncle was hired to treat a rather unsavory fellow, a thief named Rog. It was fairly obvious that Rog was a high-ranking shadow thief. He had power and money, two things more than rare in Afghanistan without family connections. Rog was also daring. There are places in the city where no sane man treads, places in the bowels of the earth that have most powerful drow clerics quavering if quivering with fear the mere mention of their cursed names. Rock set into the motion of the systemic plunder of these places. He was a modern man, not given to the superstitious fears of the plebeian masses. The story goes that Rock was found in the old temple of Baal, gibbering and mad with fear. Uncle Gerard, an expert in all its conditions, was called to treat the ravaged man. Her uncle had learned through his studies. These afflictions can never be treated without knowledge of their cause. Since Number Rog had survived the trip, my uncle made the foolish decision to travel to these unholy places in search of this knowledge. He left for the graveyard and the places of the profane that are known to lie beneath it. He was gone for months. I thought him dead. Rog was shipped off to the asylum that lie off the Arms Coast. Nearly a year later, Uncle Gerard returned a changed man. Something that he had seen on his travels left him quite unhinged. So hardly the mindless sack of flesh that Rog had been. With his change came a strange ability that occasionally shows itself in Gerhard's verbal ramblings. It has become a prophet of sorts. He predicts events, some small and some important. During the time of troubles, his gift was particularly evident. He seemed to know everything. He drives and stumbled about the basement, screaming of slaughtered gods and tumultuous magic. But that's in the past. He has examined Jala, and, especially in the present state, he knows things. He told Lisa to bring me home, and I hope that he's given you some direction and asked to how we can help this girl. Well, amongst the ramblings about sausages and chickens, he did have a few things to say. He said, for one, uh, to heal Jala's mind, one must know his own mind. He also mentioned something about seeking the hidden. The hidden, you say? Lissa mentioned this. It seems Lady Yistev knows something about the man. You can find the Yistev estate in the government district. Will you solve this mystery for me? I must stay with Lissa. Yes, I will try to find the hidden and cure for Jala. Thank you, my friend. Go well. I shall be here when you return. Jala is not eating, so I estimate you have ten days at most. Onward, then. You must gather your party Mention what I said about party members leaving for no reason. To the task at hand. I mean, I did look up all the particular party side quests that could occur. Right. Now, I don't want to spend too much time doing all this, but I need Jan if I want to finish the particular encounter with uh, Jahira. So. Let's get over with. As you will. And I do want John present when we go to Anaman's thing, because I imagine he's got some interesting things to say about that. Alright, back to the Yusdev estate. That poor man. Always getting bothered by us. Although we don't have to talk to the master of the house at this point. Oh, you must be the messengers come to beg the services of Sir Sars. It is a great honor to be refused by him, so don't feel bad when you leave empty handed. Lady Yistev, I must ask a favor of you. There's a little girl that is sick, and I think you may have knowledge that can help her. I need to find the hidden. The hidden? But you're not one of the enlightened ones. 
please. I must find him. There is a girl who is very ill, and I've been told that he can help her. But it is forbidden to speak of him. Look, my lady, I already know of him. What harm could be could it be to tell me where to find him? There is a girl who is ill. I should not say anything. A girl called Jala. You can help her by help her be healed by telling me where the hidden can be found. I do not know where he is. Perhaps I can arrange a meeting. Oh, he shall be so angry. Listen then. Below the cursed hole of Avarice called the Copper Coronet, there lies a maze of sewer shafts. Find the place if you can. The entrance lies within the tavern somewhere. Right? I shall ask the hidden to meet you there, but I do not know where he will be or if he will show up at all. This is all I can do. Go now before you are seen here. Right? I wouldn't dream of refusing. Getting to see all the exciting places in Afkatla. The sewers! Again! Well, different sewers, but... Now, I mean, we've already been in these particular sewers, but, you know, not for a while. At least, I've already cleared them out, so... It shouldn't take too long to find the hidden. Hopefully. Although, again, I don't know exactly where he will be. Well, at least this should not be too difficult. Provided, of course, they have not preset the traps. As I currently do not have a backup rogue to do any of the work that needs doing, if that is the case. I mean, it'll take a little bit more before Yoshibo is ready to resume his uh, duties as a thief. Although he's already become quite a proficient archer. Alright. Let us find Whatever the hidden. Well, he could be anywhere, so let's just look around. It's probably a bit too much to hope for that he will be in the first chamber we finally look. Let's check up here. Gather your party before venturing forth. Onward then. Nope, nothing hidden up here. To the task at hand. There we go. What do you wish of me? I ask a boon of you. You are here to have me cure this girl Jella. Yes, I am. It was not a question, Bull. I do this because you have an aura of usefulness about you. Do a task for me, and I shall heal the damage done to the girl's mind. What is the task? Good. I'm not being stalked by two creatures of evil intent. You will destroy these two for me, and you will do it well. Is that clear? It is clear. This chase has gone on too long, and I grow bored. The two have a contact in the proprietor of a dingy flop house in the docks district called the Seas Bounty. You will not believe that you have found me without the code words. 
Tell them that you are a seeker. He will tell you better to lie, waiting for word of my whereabouts. Betray them to me, betray me to them, and I assure you both the girl and you shall die before I do. Go now and return when they are dead. I do love to chase all this racing about in heavens and all that. I mean, I, I get that most of the quests in DD are kind of like this. At least I don't have to go and grind for 12 bad asses. <sighs> Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. You must gather your party before venturing forth. As you will. And as interesting it would be to find out about the enlightened ones. I am not gonna bother. Because I actually do not care. I do not care what their alignment is. I only care that the little girl is saved. And so I can get my rogue back. I have to be practical about these things. At least very little time passes as long as we are traveling within the city. I wouldn't dream of right, will we get mugged again? Doesn't appear there's any muggers about yet. It's almost dark, but not quite. Boundary Tavern, and we are. Uh, let's see. Hey, uh. Proprietor of the inn. Mm -hmm. That should probably be the thumb. Oh yes. It's a cold and dreary day when the thumb can't extend a bit of hospitality to his guests. Come, enter and be welcome at the sea's bounty. Don't be mind the hook here. It'll be a little present for me seafaring days. I take it your name is Thumb? It'd be more proper than calling me THE Thumb. Thumb alone just don't be sounding right. Named after the orc here, naturally. Let me guess you were a pirate captain once? Thumb were never pirates. Well, the exotic marching routes in the west retired here after I met the wee beastie now mounted over me at bed. Hmm. Right. I'd like a drink. I don't really want to drink, I just want to... Day when the thumb can't extend a bit of hospitality to his guests. Come, enter and be welcome at the sea's bounty. I don't know if we got the introductions out of the way. I am a seeker. So you found something, mate. You'd look pretty interested in it. Go to the Five Flagons Tavern, the bridge district, in a room on the second floor. The blokes you want to hear, that want to hear what you can tell them, I'm there. Right. Ugh, I mean. And yeah, it's fine. All fine. Just going around all the districts. Why can't it ever be just contained to a single district? I mean, I was sort of happy when I'm done with all these side questing in Afghatla because of all this back and forth travel and do a little bit of questing on the side because at the very least the path to getting things done is fairly straightforward outside uh all right bitch district onward then the rich district well i did want to go to the five flangers anyway to drop off some stuff i guess i'll do that now Although I do get the strict feeling that I'm not really getting anything done at this present time. 
I mean, all I've really managed to do right now is just sell two items and basically lose a party member. In any case, if you like, uh, this will be the end of this episode. If you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. See you then.